Alright, so um, welcome to Monolith Hunter Episode 1, this is Dirt Triple Nine. this is actually my second time recording this, and uh, the thing that you just saw was my new intro, um, hope you liked it, that was actually my first time actually editing the music, and it turned out pretty nice. And you know, editing it for anything for YouTube. So, um, yeah, thanks for, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, um, yeah, so today I'm going to be playing some... Yeah, a couple space program. We're flying around Kerbin looking for monitors. Actually, and uh, actually today on in this episode of a monolith hunter, I'll be actually looking. I'll be actually looking at my gear, and if we have enough time, I'll probably take a plane out for a spin and show you how um stuff works. So uh, we will be going to the moon today. We're going to do that. So um yeah, start the game. Hangar. So, um, uh, my first plane I would use, I uh, used for uh, finding monolith. I actually found a monolith just to test out my system, and my system works pretty well. So, this is the Dirk Bird, uh, uh, which is uh, based off of the Ark Bird from Ace Combat. It basically serves the same purpose. It takes off and Goes in the orbit around, uh, goes a bit around Kerbin just like uh, Space Shuttle does, or did, because it doesn't do it today. It, it's tired, but yeah. So basically, it was getting too much. I was getting too much water in my mouth. And so basically, um, it goes into low Earth, uh, low Earth orbit and looks for monoliths with this thing on. That works. What doesn't work is when it tries to come back because for some reason this is extremely unstable in space. It just flies around and enters the atmosphere. I can't, you can't make it stable because of all the weights in the back. So I have to always eject using uh, the Red Star Cobra system. It's a pretty good system. But yeah. Um, so, um, and then to actually find the monoliths, to actually get eyes on them, I use this scout plane, which is uh, based off of my 810,000 design. Which is based off of the modern day 10. As in straight wings and this vertical tail and two engines, but uh, but for the sakes of uh, doing YouTube work, as in flying flying high in the atmosphere and going extremely long distance, uh, I use one engine in the back. So we'll look at the scout plane again. There we go. And this is the ejection seat from the Red Star Cobra. The only thing I use it for because I don't like SU designs. But yeah. Um, so basically, if you have this on your last stage, it acts like a parachute for a capsule where you press space bar, your guy goes flying up just like an ejection seat, and uh, you know he's safe. Unless you know he gets ejected into a mountain or something like that. But yeah, so basically, I take off from Kerbal Space Center and just go look for a monolith. When I do find a monolith, I will land this next to it, and then I will not end the flight. I won't end the flight. I will go to the space plane hangar, or go to the trekking center and get rover full, which is uh, which is a rover design, and I'll fl and I will um. And I will swallow, I will, um... Swallow again, I will, uh, land, um... And I will take this, and go to the monolith, land next to that, so... And park up right next to the monolith, the uh, scout plane doesn't have to get ne that next to it, and, uh... Once I have done that, also the guy can get out, jump... You know, get out of the cockpit, go down, walk on the side, go down here, go down there. And uh, once I have done that, I will either get a moon... Well, I'll either have a mod that you, uh... That's basically used for moon bases, or... I have actually not done this successfully once. Or I will get a drop pod. And land right next to the monolith and have this be my per permanent marker. Or a, uh... 
or like I said, a uh, mod for that you use for a moon base. Whatever comes first. I have not actually, I have successfully landed one of these, I haven't done it in this design, I, I, uh, I actually used the bigger landing legs and the, and uh, and I'd be right back. Alright, so I'm sorry about that, I gotta do something, and what I was saying was, um, I, you know, landed with that, so I'm gonna need to be switching these out. Like so, and, um, yeah, so, that's my basic plan, and, uh, when, that is done when that's on there or the rover and when I'm beginning to get the guys back I'll send out an RV to go fetch them come on there we go and I completely forgot what the acronyms are for Which I'll figure that out eventually so yeah this is basically my bigger version of um And it fetched my uh, mute button because uh, live chats don't have clip-ons for some reason. They're and they're not, the Microsoft is not that smart. Yeah, so uh, I had to go fetch that. That's why I paused for a second and I had to swallow. So yeah, that's so basically this goes out and uh, gets the guys back and brings them back to Kerbal Space Center, where after that I'll land a uh, base next to them or something like that. But yeah, so um. Uh, actually, I don't know how long that was been because I didn't set my timer. So I'm I'm guessing I'm gonna call it here, and uh, actually, hopefully that's not less than eight minutes because I will feel silly if that is less than eight minutes. Though so you already know. Oh, well, never mind. When uh, actually when actually when I came back, I went back and checked the file, and it was five minutes. So. I, I should, uh, um, the, uh, the freaking intro should carry on that much, so, um, yeah, so, uh, thanks for watching, uh, comment, and uh, tell me what you liked, but, uh, tell me if you saw something that, you know, tell me if you think some, some of this design is weird and you think I should do something else, whatever, tell me, uh, another way to do the drop pod, so, um, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, like, like or dislike, you know, show people that, uh, Show people what this video is like, if it's good or bad, uh, and, uh, anyway, so, uh, this has been the Triple Nine, uh, see you in a second!